Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. You brave few. <laughs> you So now I have a new computer, and so we get to go back through uh, photographs we uh, lost last week. Um, there are our interactors sorting coats for the colds. They're meeting Sundays pretty regularly. Um, they're also busy painting bathrooms. They're an awesome group of kids to hang out with. Um, can you share your screen? Band we just recently learned about. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, there's another band called uh, uh, Young and Lovely. You know, another little way I was thinking of it. But, you know, uh, so we thought we'd rename ourselves the old Lovely. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, yeah, I'm talking to the marketing department. <laughs> uh, I know we're, uh, tomorrow night we're playing uh, the Bay Society fundraiser. And then there is a little DEI, or I'm sorry, um, youth exchange announcement, but we'll get back to that when um, Bob is here. Okay. Um, thank you to those who uh, came to the charter event. I know who's second. <laughs> yes, she did, and she's the only one. So, <laughs> and it was so lovely to see Sarah again. And those, um, there were like some chocolate raspberry cookies. It was the only bite of food I had, and it was amazing. So, whoever brought those, <laughs> they're all. All right. Before we get to that, um, let's go around and meet our guests at this table. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we had a board meeting Tuesday morning, 7 a.m., AJ hosts at Umqua. Um, mini libraries are checking along. We're working on kits to get them, or Tom Tayez is working on kits. Tom is doing a redesign. Redesign. So he can, but he can make it so it's accessible to cut out and put together. Okay. So he's on that. Perfect. Um, we would like, to encourage you to bring a guest and we'll co cover breakfast. So if, um, what did Romy say? To know Rotary is to love it? Sam, to know Rotary is to love Rotary. So bring people to see how fabulous you are. And just let our lovely front crew help you with the process. Just let them know that it's their first time here. Just yep. to encourage you to bring more people into Rotary. So, okay. <laughs> Um, home Away From Home is May 7th, and something we're funding, I don't think they don't, they don't, you don't need volunteers for that, the Home Away From Home. Oh, yeah, um, you know, like, it's, so the, the idea is that um, when students have come to this area from out of the area, their experiences, um, students of color particularly, their experience has not always been as welcoming as our community would like for that to be. In fact, some say that they're followed and profiled and, and watched and even um, victims of, of actual hate. And so um, Equity Arcade has said, what can we do? And together, um, a number of members of the community came up with having potlucks and, and, and incorporating them into the community so that these students could see that there are so many people, everyone in this room included, who are thrilled that they're here, they're thankful, and we acknowledge that they make our community better. And um, COVID made those potlucks turn into, here's a meal to go and a bag of stuff, um, essentials. And, and so uh, we invite all students are invited, Humboldt and CR, um, and, and really, it's as we give them these things, that's the message. We're glad you're here. This community appreciates you and values you. And, um, and so we do it a couple times a year. And, um, and we got the Root Art Club put in um, a 
$1,000. The Arcata Noon Club put in $500. And Eureka Southwest put in $500 so that the last one of the year, May 7th, will be a rotary sponsored home away from home event that tells the students this community and rotary is glad you're here. <clears throat> So Claire is not here, she is sick, but she spent last week in DC learning about, uh, she'll give a presentation next week about uh, exchange students. And Bob has a little something he wants Laura, to say. Laura, there's a testimony to how sick she was that she didn't give me very specific instruction from what to announce, so I'm just gonna do a program about stuff I'm interested in this work. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, <laughs> so if you're if you're not already a friend of our Facebook page, please follow our Facebook page, and it's going to post up a uh, notice about uh, Rotary Youth Exchange hosting um, students um, as part of that. And we're we're very interested in sort of uh, stimulating awareness of uh, how great the program is. It's sort of spreading our reach a little bit, not just to the club, but to the club's friends, neighbors, and uh, court. So um, if you could help with that, let us think about that uh, and who might be who might be up for that adventure. I'm really very much appreciate it. And I think March 15th was the up the, the upcoming deadline. What? First, the, uh, oh, first first. Okay. It so that uh, we can send the visa application out to whoever's coming in. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that might not have anything to do with me. Okay. okay. Um, Yes. Who wants to host a golf tournament? <laughs> Don't volunteer all at once. <laughs> um, we're look entertaining the idea of a spring fundraiser or not. It seems like not. There, if there's no energy to run it, then and we're in a lucky position where we might not have to, with John's approval, of course. <laughs> I was sort of hoping he would be here and I could just put him on the spot. But uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, we have one half of a yes. We have a maybe, I guess. I would help. Okay. That's two. Three. All right. Well, look at this committee happen. Thank you very much, guys. Get some work. Um, these are lovely pictures. One is from Sophie's, or like our snow days. That's my Dolo's first snow. She was very reluctant but then we got into it and this is from pat's backyard i don't know did anybody have any snow adventures make a snowman <laughs> skate down their driveway this morning getting into the car i almost lost it students hiding in bushes to to um snowball each other they were having blast, and a number of our students saw snow for the first time it's uh, yeah I'm, I got really excited. I'm sorry. Super giddy about it. <laughs> All right. Update number four from our uh, kitchen. They've put the second floor up in Cambodia. And it just is really stunning what they're doing. We.
time, so the site is really a very nice kitchen and dining facility. The bitumen is about at $200,000 for that building. Now, we're not allowed to support any kind of construction but we are able to support furniture with those good roads. So this would be paid for to share the dining room, also with the kitchen equipment. So we're uh, we're uh, mixed with uh, matching grants, district matching grants, forty two hundred dollars. So the district providing forty four hundred, and we've also been provided with this. So we're contributing six thousand to provide the pool, and you can see it's even incredible if you can recall if they were cooking over open flames and big walks so this is <laughs> uh, head and shoulders above what it's really exciting all right so <clears throat> this is uh scott's home away from home or, and coming up in may so start saving your dollars pennies um a lot of pennies he is gonna, he'll put you up for a week, entertain you, feed you, take you paddle boarding. Um, that's up. <laughs> he goes for walks, I don't know what they're <laughs> 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 They work out a ton. I got to visit there in October and it's an incredible property and right where that picture was taken on the floor is the beach. So like he is probably standing on the sand. Can you say it Yeah, he's on the so two couples for a week, starting in May, um, start saving because <laughs> foundation is coming up. Right. Oh, wait, here, we'll go to Terry Clark 2020. <laughs> you can Venmo. <laughs> We have some uh, Paul Harris. I know, and none of them were here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there we go. Wait a second. Send them back. Actually, nobody's here. here. Wow. Okay. Not here. Yeah, they're not here. Yeah. Okay. No. We're good. Okay. So I guess we'll go back to, um, we'll start the auction. Okay. We want to talk about rotary first. Yeah. That's, yeah. <clears throat> Terry Clark, 2020. <laughs> and the reason that we um, did did that for the Venmo address is it just saves the step of the club having to write a check for the Roman Foundation and send it to me, and then I send it on to me. So this way, um, I can go home and see who Venmoed me, and then I send a check this afternoon for the Rotary Foundation. So it just gets there faster, and especially during tax season because Sophie's really busy. Um, it's Rotary Convention time. The convention's in Melbourne, Australia at the end of May. Uh, Marty and I are going, Dustin's going, Amanda's thinking about going. Um, other people might be going, we're not sure who, but the club has very generously offered to give um, people who do go $400 towards their registration. So if you're going, once you register, please text and send the information to Sophie and you'll we'll get a $400 check in return. And we understand that's a drop in the bucket when you're traveling 16 hours across most of the world. But still, it's um, a sign that our club understands the, the whole name. It's Rotary International. And going to an international convention is a huge adventure. And I've gotten to go to 12 of them. This will be my 13th. 
And um, 20 years ago, Marty and I went to Brisbane, Australia, where it was then. And it was the end of my district governor year. And it was just fabulous. It was our first trip to Australia. This will be our fourth trip to Australia because um, our goddaughter moved there and she graduated University of Queensland with her PhD in 2009. And then she decided to become an Australian citizen. And then she um, dated a lot of charming and not so charming Australian men and, <laughs> and, and found, found one who is charming and a really nice guy too. And five years ago on Romney's and my birthday, married him in Australia. Aww. So um, we're going to see them again and it's going to be a great deal. The next year's convention is in Singapore. Another really far away place. And the year after that, 2025, it's going to be in Calgary, Canada. About every third year, it's in North America. So it was in Houston last year. So that works out to every third year. Um, think about Canada. It's, it's the closest. It's the, the least um, travel time. And it really is a fabulous experience. You get to meet people truly from all over the world and see their projects and learn about what they do. And Rotary always gets amazing speakers. We, um, I got to hear Bill Gates Sr. several years ago, the late Bill Gates Sr. And we heard Bill Gates Jr. in Atlanta. And um, we've heard Jane Goodall and Mia Farrow, so you know, humanitarian people and who understand what Rotary does. So it really is fabulous. Save your pennies for Calgary in two years. That's you know, put away a few dollars every month and then you'll be able to go and maybe the club will have money again to help with registration. But uh, we really do appreciate that. And um, we'll bring souvenirs and we'll send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what did I forget? So you send pictures? Yeah. Okay. So final Friday. So we do this um, auction. Craig started it many years ago. It's morphed a little bit. But all the money that's raised today goes to the Rotary Foundation. And this is our only fundraiser for the Rotary Foundation. That's its monthly auctions. And some of you give money every month anyway um, through Rotary Direct, which I really appreciate. Rotary Foundation really appreciates. And sometimes people just Venmo me some money or send me a check and I can send that on to the Rotary Foundation. And that's an easy way to do too, because sometimes people don't want to bring stuff and then people don't want more stuff. And so anyway, just you know, the money flows directly and that works out really well too. But some people are really um, motivated by getting prizes. So this is for you today. So why should we send money to the Rotary Foundation? Pardon me? Why should we send money to the Rotary Foundation? The Rotary Foundation is what makes, I call it the heart of Rotary. And it is what you're not, you, you, I didn't ask you to be my shill, but I appreciate you. It's what does, it's what helps us do what we do. It's what funds the polio eradication campaign, which has been going on for over 30 years. 23 and weeks, no. 23 Woo! weeks, no new cases. Pakistan and Afghanistan will be declared polio free and then the world will be polio free. Now, there are always going to be some cases that pop up because there are some people who still, regardless of all scientific evidence, don't get their children immunized, even against something so deadly as polio. And it has shown up in a couple of places like London and New York City. So it truly is a plane right away and if people aren't immunized then you know and i'm old enough to remember getting it on the, i'm i was born before polio drugs were a bit the vaccine was available a lot of well, not a lot of us some of us were and there was a lot of fear i was in southern california we didn't get to go to the parks we didn't go to, go to the swimming pool we basically didn't get to mingle with other children during you know the summertime months because there was so much fear and polio was still you know happening. I know some we all know some polio victims. There's one who lives here in Arcata. And um, it's just it's just not good and it is one hundred percent preventable. So the Rotary Foundation is going to keep going with our partners until it really is gone. And then we'll have 
a really big ass party to, <laughs> to celebrate the end. And it started with just one one person's idea. You know, if we just immunize all the kids in the world, we could get rid of polio. And it will be the only the second disease that's ever been completely eradicated. So it's something for all of us to be proud of. And it's part of what the Rotary Foundation does. We do a lot of other things too. Stephanie. I was just going to say, a little over a year ago, I set up a recurring gift every month with the Rotary Foundation to very help me get my login information. So just a little $25 chart every month. It's very painless. Thank you. I don't even realize it's happening most of the time. So that all adds up and it's money that you count on. So yes. that's a good way to give to and that drop in a bunch of final Fridays in there, 25 bucks a month, recurring gift. I'd be happy to help you. Howard, remind us how to start that campaign. The president who started this, uh, the whole campaign. The, the polio campaign? Yeah. I don't remember his name. Who was he? No, I, I thought you would. Do it. It's just not my brain's not caffeinated. I have. I didn't realize people would actually be asking the question. I'm so glad, and I'll be. I'll do better next time. There's a story about it in the Rotarian Club. You just have to read your Rotarian. There you go. I like it. So, what's the answer, Craig? <laughs> they, they said 1979. Well, Vinnie Santos was the he um, was the man who did the first Health, Hunger, and Humanity grant, which is a grant that the foundation used to give, and he decided to immunize as many children in the Philippines on one day as he could. Um, I don't know if he was the official start of it, but that project and that grant showed that it could be done. And 20 years ago, some of us in this room were lucky enough to meet Benny Santos because he came to our district conference in Fortuna. And he was um, you know, elderly at the time and really, really charming and passionate and truly um, a hero. He really, and he's since passed to the Rotary Club and the great beyond, but he was uh, great. And he was persistent about saying, yeah, this could work. And Cliff Dockerman, who's the past president of Rotary, helped him. And it uh, seemed simpler at the start than it turned out to be because who knew that there were going to be so many wars that were happening and factions that didn't want to trust people they perceived were hurting their children with these drops, which were actually saving their little lives. So, thank you. Thank you for the questions, and I'll, I'll do better next time. I'll study better. <laughs> and read your return. That's yeah, good. All right. yeah. Okay. So, okay. the auction, the way it works is you see something you like, you bid high, outbid the, your neighbor. A um, little bidding war is always good to get everybody juiced up if the coffee hasn't done enough. And the first mm -hmm. items are from Brandy. And you mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we hear a little bit about them? So yeah. it's a local potter, um, Lissom Hill Pottery. There are two serving bowls and two cereal bowls. And then, of course, the oak um, towel comes in because they didn't want to make the finance and then so the capital bag to carry it out. But, um, but it's quality made, it's dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and wow. they're very useful. I, if you've ever been to my house, you'll know that I love bowls. <laughs> Oh, the towel. <laughs> uh, what, where should we start?
this came up by accident. Yeah. Okay. So this one is called San Francisco Fund. Uh, Marty and I are subscribers to American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, where we were last Saturday. And um, I have two tickets for Wizard of Oz. Sorry, Peggy's getting married that day. So I, I, I don't know about your priorities. We've heard how much Wizard of Oz meant to you. Tell me other for the show. You could elope. Yeah, I don't know. Something. So it's two tickets to Wizard of Oz on June 10th at 2 p.m. San Francisco. It's a Saturday. Um, a discount on parking. We threw in two guest passes to either the De Young or the Legion of Honor, um, which has a fabulous John Singer Sargent display right now. And an added bonus, I have, we have many recommendations about lodging and food. We love San Francisco and we would be there except we're coming home from Australia the day before. <laughs> and I can't be away from our cats for one more day. <laughs> Plus, your tenth is Marty's birthday, and he might not want. You gotta be with the cats. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they have a little party planned, but don't tell Marty. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you know, you might be sad that you will be seeing the Wizard of Oz on Judy Garland's 101st birthday. Now, is that a bonus or what? You share a birthday with Judy Garland. Wait, wait, wait. So. All right, so um, it's about it's about a two hundred dollar value. So June tenth, June tenth, June tenth tickets. Luxury trip to San Francisco. Do we have two hundred dollars? It's kind of like Scott's price, but you just have to have to get there. So you have to get there, but then, then you're and it's cold. It's a little bit colder. Yeah. And there's no money. <laughs> <there's no laughs> <laughs> 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 Do we have $200? $200. $200. Do we have $210? $210? Do we have $210? I'm, I'm going to give you an entire day to tear me head off. $210? Going once? Going twice? There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to let the director of giving you know that you're going to be in our seats, and so maybe he'll give you a it was really cold when I was thinking of things, so I thought <laughs> everyone needed a little bit of cozy. So um, this yeah. this is a um, nice cozy blanket, hot cocoa from Dick Taylor's, onions, chocolates, and some nice little nuts. I'm gonna start it at fifty. I, I assembled this. I'm reusing the basket. No. This comes with a special lesson with the basket, which you only will learn after you purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw John go too. <laughs> lesson, like secret lesson. Seven Joyce, eight. Eighty and ninety. Ninety Joyce. Hundred and. Hundred ten. No. Forty-five. Forty. 
a month per year from Sun Valley. And I believe you go and, but they let you pick whatever you want. I, I bought it several years ago from a um, Chamber of Commerce St. Patrick's Day thing up in Warwick. And it was really fun. You know, the, the, the um, Sun Valley is just right there in Arcata. And you just go and talk to them and they know, you know the deal and they send you into the cooler and you know tell you which ones. And so it's, it's a really fun thing. It is super and fun. it's once a month. Mm -hmm. And I think it was 120 ish. And the fun thing is, it looks different every month. So you just you know, what they're growing at the time. Home of the Stargazer Lily. Uh, <laughs> Rose, Rose Lily. Oh, yeah. Tulips. They just start at 50. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 110. Jessica, 120? 130. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's from school year. I know. Once a month. Okay, I'll do 150. 150? What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's it. That's it. Shannon brought that and I'm Shannon, you want to tell us about this? Oh, it's for Brandon. Uh, Brandon called me from Crescent City. <laughs> okay. And uh, so she diffused it for him with the test. And it cost me more money to feed my kids after he told me what he wanted. Oh, 
show up. So. <laughs> and then there, a, in the bottom, there's a rock from my yard that has nothing to do with paper. Just to keep the bag. <laughs>
right? You have to walk on the local rivers and beaches, and you got to think about a lot of love. And then hard rocks show up. <laughs> um, ten bucks? Yeah. Anybody? I'll do that. <laughs> you, you get to choose. You get, right, you get to choose. There are more. <laughs> first, first kids make first choices. Another one? Mine looks great on my desk at work. People actually ask, what's that? And it's a great conversation starter about it. Imagine where we're going to get. Yes, yes. Paperweight. Yes. 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 I don't have one. I better do it. Okay, that was the prettiest one. Okay, so um, John, I have a lot of rocks. Okay, <laughs> and Vanessa. Yes. There's one rock left. There's two, two three two rocks. rocks. Oh, there's a rock. There's rock. That's two, oh, you bought that one. Two rocks left. Okay. Showcase your rocks. Last rock. Last rock standing. Last would that actually span that? It looks like it would. I you know, have on it on its head. Other day, the planet. Keep <laughs> the <planet. laughs> going up there. <laughs> you just put a little something. Put another rock. If you donate like seven Paul Harris photos, then you're going to give you a rock. The rocks are there. Well, it'll lift to keep it on another That's day. Right. <laughs> there's, there's people. Oh, Go Shannon. That's your ten dollars. <laughs> okay, throw it to him. Okay. We, just, we just raised one thousand ninety dollars for the Very serious too. Uh, Ron, do you want to do the raffle or? Yeah. 
brownie. <laughs> then um, April, April 15 um, will be six years since David Josiah Lassen was, was killed in our community. And um, on that day, of course, the Lassen family comes and, you know, they do a ton of service, um, just trying to do the good in this community that TJ would have done if he were with us. Um, but on April 15, that will be six years. And of course, Charmaine will be here. And there's two things happening. And one of them, you've got to start getting ready now. It is a 5K run. <laughs> or walk, or walk. 5K run or walk. It's going to go from the, um, from the uh, city hall to the marsh and back. And um, it'll begin with, um, with a little vigil and a moment of silence. And that's not just for DJ, but for all the families that have lost someone in this community. And we also honor missing and murdered indigenous people in this community, which we have one of the highest percentages of. Um, and, and so, um, so anyway, that will be in the morning, 10, 10 o'clock, 9.30, we'll sort of gather and have a moment, and then we will walk or run together, and, um, and that's a 5K, and then that evening, Charmaine has, um, has something lined up at, at Septon Trio, and there's going to be music and poetry and fun, and, and so um, a celebration of life for not just DJ Lawson, but for all the families who have lost someone. What day again was that? April 15th. All oh, right. Six Seven. years. Seven. Still no justice. And then March 23rd, on a lighter note. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? 25th. 25th. Saturday, yeah. highway cleanup. We'll yeah. keep reminding you. Can I make a add to that? Yes. That March 25th will be a very special highway cleanup because Clean California is doing events all through the state. And they've asked us as a Adopt the Highway group to be sure to have the event during that time period. Um, so that'll be at the Nature Center, 9 to 1030. And then in the afternoon, they're having a big celebration, Clean California celebration under the bridge on the Eureka side. And we'll have a table for Rotary. We, and we may want to uh, invite other clubs too to kind of get the word out about what we do. We in our community and it's going to be from 12 to 4 and music and stuff and it'd be great if people want to just like give an hour and sit at the table you know and let me know and we'll coordinate that but another bonus on the 25th when you all come out to do the rotary bit and cleaning the highway you can also bring along your gently used outdoor gear that will benefit friends in the dunes and i can collect it there craig's always donated some stuff but if you have gently used outdoor gear, it's a big fundraiser for Friends of Dunes on April 1st. So if you want to get good gear, come then. But if you have stuff um, that you want to donate, and just see me or see their website for, you know, no skis. Skis don't work. Don't work. <laughs> We've learned a few things over the years. <laughs> it does not work. It does not work. But, but there's other, a lot of other things. <laughs> All right. So that just, we'll have more announcements. As you know. Jessica? Uh, an invitation to folks, theater lovers, Redwood Curtain, as you all know, on the board for. And we have shows that's opening this weekend. Uh, Bull in the China Shop uh, tells the story of the president of Mount Holyoke College and, um, uh, and for the period of time from 1901 to 1937, and um, uh, focuses on women's suffrage, bringing education to women, and also a, a, a sweet a story between she and, a, and, and her partner at the time. So that opens uh, this weekend, and it will run for three weekends, so through March 11th, and that's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday performances. There's a Thursday also in there. Go to the website to be able to get tickets. So. Anything else? All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Be safe. Bye.